people in the truck had an enormous assignment. I told them we wanted to get any good body check, and here's the only one that's been thrown tonight, Korobchenko on Sloboda. And that's one reason why this game at times has just been an east-west affair, a friendly match, because there hasn't been much in the way of bitterness between the two teams. Algot and Savard to the left of Bergeron. Back, back to the Jordan, takes it behind the net. Out starts out. Canadians looking for the equalizer after tying it at the five-minute mark. Yashin put Hemick on top again. Sure, yes. Off the boards to center, Maslov backhands it into the Canadian zone as we near the midway mark of the third period. Lafave for the Canadian. Savard to Courtnell. Kershaw on the left winger. Savard takes the shot. He was checked by Kershaw. Kershaw behind the goal to Savard. In front of Savard, the shot, a roller. And the save was made by Cherbyakov. Maslov. Drops it off for Melgan going for the net. Can't get a shot away. Maslov might have backhand off the side of the net. Lefebvre ahead for Turgeon. At the right point, it's Melgan. He waits, takes the shot, and a pass saved by Bergeron. Korobchenko from a bad angle. Another save by Bergeron. Lefebvre for Montreal. Taras Kortnel. He's forced back by Titoff. Kortnel has to be careful. Dmitry Bartelnov was after him. Andrew Castle. In on the left side, he's cut off by Smirnov, pinned on the board, and it's Kitov for Hina. The Zelyanin, out at center, to Zelopukin. Bartolov picks up a shot, he scores! The second goal of the night for Dmitry Bartolov. I guarantee you that Bartolov missed that shot, and it went between the legs of Bergeron. I think he was trying to go upstairs, and I think Bergeron thought he was, and it just kind of fluttered. It's a two-on-two, two, and the Montreal defenseman moves out to a boat, and then the shot is taken, and it, and it was like a change-up. It, it fooled the batter, and the batter there was Bergeron. Here's a better look at it. It hits Swoboda in the skate, comes right back, and there Bartelnoff fired a slow-motion shot between the legs of Bergeron, and it is, again, a two-goal lead for him with 8.56 to go in the game. Second goal of the night and third of the tour for Dmitry Bartolo. Five to three, Hemick. Lead pass for Castle, failed to click. Zella Pukin trying to use the speed. First, he beat him to the puck. Rene in the corner. Off the puck to the Sheldon. Titoff moves it to Zella Pukin. Dumps it in on the right side for Bartolo. And Daniel touches the puck, so it's icing against Hemick. Well, there's Bartelnoff, as we mentioned two or three times, led the Russian League in scoring last year. He's a lazy little guy, I'll tell you that. He only goes when he thinks he's got a chance to do something offensively. He coasts over to the bench when he changes on the fly. And perhaps that's why he hasn't been drafted, Bruce, because he is a talented player. And I'm sure the North American scouts have seen lots of this guy as he grew up playing in the Soviet League. Strudlin getting set for the face-off against Plumashoff to the right of Cherbyakov. Hemick came into the third with a two-goal lead. After winning the shootout, Canadian tied it. Hemick countered with two more. Strudlin to Peterson, a shot and a pass save by Cherbyakov. Stefan Riche. One hand on the stick. Peterson shot nowhere near the goal. Schneider in from the right point. Had to whack it down the board. Picked at the puck. And it came out the center. Mark Peterson for Montreal. Four Soviets were waiting at the line. Here a shot. Berdichevsky knocked down from behind. Looking for a penalty. Seven forty-eight left in the third. Riche straight up the ice. Back by Klemashov, Kutno, to Yashin. Off the boards and into Montreal territory. De Jardin to Lefebvre. Tried to slap it in, that hits uh, Yannin. And he's been shaken up a little bit, stays on the ice. Moves the puck across to Smirnoff. Now to Knight at center. He shoots it in. Puck came off the corner boards, Lefebvre banks it to De Jardin. 
ahead to Brian Strudlin. He fires it in to the Hemick zone. Smirnoff around the board. Good hit by Strudlin on Smirnoff. And now he looks at the referee. Well, don't forget now, this referee travels, or used to, <laughs> travel with the Russian team and practice with them. Every time a Russian's head, he pleads with the referee for a penalty. Mike Keen in the corner. Bumped by Nida. Fired around the board by Ulanov. The Jordan a shot. Came to the goal and steered away by Cherdyakov. Forsen knocked off his stick by Smirnov. LeBeau for the Canadians. Behind the net. Centers it. And Keen was all tied up by Ulanov. Bartolov. This is Andre. Dick handles into the slot. A backhand that goes wide. LeFay for the Canadians, 6.22 left in the third. It's 5-3 Hemick looking for their first win on their NHL tour. The Sullivan to Torochenko. Hemick nearly caught with too many men on the ice. Boboda to Russ Cortnall. Checked at the line by Zella Pukin and Cortnall ran into the board and gets up slowly. Too many Montreal players trying to beat three or four Hemic players. They, they've done a nice job in Hemic and they get up two goals especially as there's four people lined up at the blue line and their chance of getting the puck through all of them are pretty slim. Melgan off the boards to center. Didick fires it in off the glass. Turgeon checked by Shuryev. He moves it to Titoff. Now to Bartolnov. Got to set up Titoff in front, Bartolnov still after it. A giveaway, Titoff shoots, scores! Saw some brutal defensive play by the Montreal Canadiens to give Hemic an extra chance. And uh, one thing we found out early in this game is that they've got some guys who can shoot the puck. And uh, here's the shot by Germain Titoff. And uh, look at the time he had per Berger in a no chance. He's in his ninth year with Hemick, and last year had six goals in 44 games. But he didn't get that kind of an opportunity. And the Canadians had the puck, but they turned it over, and uh, this game has uh, slipped into a, a rout by Hemick over Montreal. 6-3 with 5-19 to go. And betting for the exit, Tukov's second goal on the tour. They've answered back with three straight after the Canadians tied it at the five-minute mark in the third period. From a shot to Trippno. He shoots it in. Berdachevsky giving chase against Schneider. Up the board to Daniel. Out comes Strudlin with Riche and Peterson, a three-on-two. Riche, drop shot, kicked away by Cherdyakov. Riche beat him from well out earlier in this period. Riche out of the corner, Strudlin a shot! And the save by Cherdyakov. Pressure now by Montreal, Strudlin from the corner. Dick Peterson for Riche, that's intercepted by Selyanin. He gives it to Trudeau with four and a half minutes left. His long shot, high off the glass. Schneider for Montreal. The Soviet, the Soviet head coach making changes. Off the blocker, that's Serbiakov. Shane Corson, back to LaFay. That's the center to Corson, can't beat three Hemic players. A perfect example of what I just mentioned. The Russians lined up their own blue line, kind of daring you to see if you can stick handle by them all. Belgium pass. The clearing attempt picked off by Odeline, LaFay, back off to Odeline. Not Mike Keen stick at center. Good collision between Corson and Ulanov. Bartolnov gets it to Nida. Back to Bartolnov on the right side. He's hit by LaFay. Corson dumps it up. Canadians beginning to show their frustration a little bit. Kurashov, the Ashin. Andre Bartolnov at center. Trying to drop it back. The bow nearly had a chance to go to the net. There's a clearing attempt. Bounced off Corson right to Cherbyakov, and he holds on for the faceoff. 
Dmitry Bartolnov has two tonight for Hemick. With Harry Neal and Grant Pollock, 309 left in the third period, and Hemick on its way to victory for the first time this season in a, on its NHL tour, leading 6 to 3. Bart and Nogan on the faceoff, and are on the board to Torapchenko. He threw out that big hit on Sobota, long shot. Bergeron got a stick on it, puck goes over the glass and into the seat. A lot of them vacated here at the Forum with Hemek leading by three. Six to three, Hemick. Face off to the left of Jean Claude Bergeron. Sure, yes. Blacks it to the side of the net. Steve Jardin. Up by Torapchenko. Aslan trying to kick it free. And he's Savard. Peter Jardin. Moves it to Courtnell. They broken up at the line by Shuryev. The Jardin has to wait for Savard to get onside. Now carries across to Russ Courtnell. Into the slot. The Kurashov was there and he banks it off the boards and down the ice. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third. Kurjan. Into the Hemic zone. Smirnov had a strong game on defense. Dmitry Bartolnov looking for Zelopukin. Hook into the Canadian's line to Jardin. To Savard. He shoots it in. Alapukin back for the puck. Two minutes remaining in the third. Cleared off to Sel Yannick. Off the boards to the Canadian's line. Schneider for Brian Sweden. Schneider to Riche. Hands it off to Sweden. Bereshe side of the net nearly caught Cherdyakov out of position and it's smeared off off the board. And it can't keep it in. Ella Pukin halted at the line by Didik. Krugman with 127 left. So and Him then Riche. Himmick the Bruce goes to Buffalo for a game Wednesday and the Montreal Canadiens travel to Toronto. Berdichetsky drop pass for Klemashov. Dmitry Bartolnov to the side of the goal. Didik to Schneider. Klemashov. Back to Veselgin. In front. Shot just wide by Berdichevsky. With less than a minute to go in the third. Matthew Schneider. Leading the Canadians attack. Looking for Peterson. Passes a little too far ahead. He grabs his man, Keen behind the goal. Back at the side of the net, LeBeau after it, still loose. And back to collect it is Trutno. 32 seconds remaining. Berdachevsky to Trutno. Turns at the line, had it knocked off his stick by Daniel. Kurashov. Here's LeBeau at center for Montreal. To Shane Corson. Goes between two Hemic players. Trying to work his way down the board. Nida. For Kurashov. Keen in the corner. Five seconds left. Corson looking for Keen. That's picked off. Goes to Bartolov. He slaps it down the ice. And the game is over. The final score. Hemic six. And the Canadian three. Quality video presents.